The world runs on electricity, and it is one of the greatest gifts of science to mankind. However, have you ever wondered who the man behind this discovery is? The man is Nikola Tesla, and much about him was shrouded in mystery and unending battles with the government, which sought to silence him and his inventions. However, Nikola Tesla left some terrifying secret that has just been made public. Nikola Tesla was born in modern-day Croatia in 1856. His father, Milutin, was a priest of the Serbian Orthodox Church. From an early age, he demonstrated an obsessiveness that would puzzle and amuse those around him. The young Tesla could memorize entire books and store logarithmic tables in his brain. He picked up languages quickly and could work through days and nights on only a few hours of sleep. At the age of 19, he was studying electrical engineering at the Polytechnic Institute at Graz in Austria, where he quickly established himself as a star student. He was in an ongoing debate with a professor of a perceived design flaws in the direct current DC motors being demonstrated in class. It was this debate that would later drive the young Nikola Tesla to invent the induction motor with rotating magnetic field that made drives for machines feasible and made AC power transmission an economic necessity. Tesla became convinced that it was unnecessary for commutators to run on motors and he built a crude motor to demonstrate his theory. Can we call Nikola Tesla the greatest inventor of our time or just a man with impossible dreams? In 1898, a memorable event at Madison Square Gardens, New York. Tesla staged a scientific tour de force, a demonstration completely beyond the generally accepted limits of technology. His invention, covered in pattern number 613,809, 1898, took the form of a radio-controlled boat. Tesla's tube-like craft powered itself. Several large batteries were on board. Radio signals controlled switches, which energized the boat's propeller, rudder, and scaled-down running lights. Simple enough in concept, but quite challenging to accomplish with existing devices. Even registering the arrival of a radio signal pulse taxed the rudimentary technology. Tesla invented a new kind of coherer, a radio-activated switch, essentially a canister with a bit of metal oxide powder. The powder orients itself, in an electromagnetic field, like radio waves, and becomes conductive. The powder is restored to a random, non-conductive state if the canister is flipped over after the pulse's passage. With the invention or improvement of several more control elements, he could put them to use in a short time. This would later serve as the base of wireless communication for mankind. Imagine a beam of energy that could bring down planes from miles away with nothing but electricity. Imagine an invisible wall of energy protecting a country from invasion, acting as an electric fence that could vaporize enemy soldiers the second they step inside. Sounds like something most militaries would love to get their hands on. Tesla called his invention the Teleforce. While many now know it as the Tesla Death Ray, the inventor resisted the term to describe it because it didn't transmit rays as a ray of energy would dissipate in the air. Instead, Tesla's invention focused energy along a narrow path. He claimed it was powerful enough to bring down airplanes and kill people instantly. According to Tesla, his invention would make it possible to create a national energy fence that would destroy any enemy that passed through it. However, he hoped that the applications of his invention could be peaceful. By making it impossible for armies to attack another country, Tesla hoped that he could completely eliminate warfare. But Tesla's high-minded dreams were limited by a severe problem. No one was interested in funding the project. He approached the governments of the United States and the Soviet Union, among others, but none offered any money. And of course, it's hard to build a massive death ray without some cash, which Tesla was now chronically short of. But one night in 1937, at a meeting at the Yugoslavian embassy, Tesla told the room that not only was his invention possible, but he had already built one. In fact, he would be unveiling it to the world in a matter of months. He was struck by a car that same year and never recovered. However, if Tesla had built a death ray, the world would never see it. His enigmatic project remains one of the world's greatest unsolved science mysteries. Tesla, 
the wizard of science cited by the New York Times in 1902. Armed with resources to use, dreamed of an even bigger project which he called the Wardenclyffe Tower, an early experimental wireless transmission station designed and built on Long Island in 1901 to 1902, located in the village of Shoreham, New York. Tesla intended to transmit messages, telephony, and even send images across the Atlantic to England and ships at sea, based on his theories of using the Earth to conduct the signals. His decision to scale up the facility and add his ideas of wireless power transmission to better compete with Guglielmo Marconi's radio-based telegraph system was met with a refusal to fund the changes by the project's primary backer, financier J.P. Morgan. Additional investment could not be found, and the project was abandoned in 1906, never to become operational despite Tesla's various efforts to make it functional. Building upon the revelations of the Tesla Tower, Tesla sought to offer wireless power for free to all by transmitting information from one tower to another using resonance. The currents were sent from one circuit to the other, building in frequency until lightning sparked from one tower to the other. He powered his laboratory wirelessly by connecting a wire to the tower and running it around his lab. He demonstrated the effect on stage to audiences using light bulbs that were not linked to any power source. The magnifying transmitter succeeded in transmitting an electrical current a kilometer away. Despite being criticized for his works, he never stopped wanting to create. As a result, in the late 1800s, Tesla became interested in using its AC electrical system to power a vehicle that could fly. He referred to this concept as his flying machine. According to Tesla, the flying machine would be powered by a propelling force that he believed could be generated using his AC electrical system. He thought this propelling force could lift the vehicle off the ground and allow it to fly. Tesla built a miniature model of the flying machine to test his theory, which he called the Tesla Ornithopter. The Ornithopter was a small winged vehicle powered by two small motors connected to a pair of counter-rotating discs. Tesla believed in the rotational force. Generated by the discs would provide the lift for the Ornithopter to take off and fly. Unfortunately, the Ornithopter was not successful and never achieved flight. Tesla later abandoned the project and turned his attention to other endeavors, such as wireless communications and the development of radio despite the failure of the Ornithopter Tesla. Nikola Tesla revealed that an earthquake drew police and ambulances to the region of his laboratory at 48 E. Houston Street in New York. In 1898, resulting from a little machine he was experimenting with at the time, which you could put in your overcoat pocket. One of Tesla's lesser-known projects was his earthquake machine, which he claimed could produce earthquakes and other seismic events. According to Tesla, the earthquake machine was a device that could generate and transmit powerful vibrations through the earth. He believed these vibrations could cause earthquakes or even prevent them by dissipating the energy that builds up before an earthquake occurs. To test his theory, Tesla built a small prototype of the earthquake machine, which he demonstrated. There was a small group of people in 1898. During the demonstration, Tesla reportedly caused the building to shake and produce a loud rumbling sound, which he claimed resulted from the earthquake machine transmitting vibrations through the earth. However, the earthquake machine was never fully developed. The shadow graph is another name for X-rays, but Tesla's term is more depictive of the process. An X-ray creates a silhouette of the area captured by passing radioactive waves through the human body. Although Ronchin initially developed the invention, Tesla improved the technique to render more explicit images. A beautiful event that would forever change Tesla happened in 1899. Tesla himself thought he had contacted aliens. He heard rhythmic sounds on a radio receiver and was convinced they were extraterrestrial. In a long letter to the New York Times, he claimed to have received a message from another world, unknown and remote, and they were from Mars. This pushed him to his limits to invent a supersonic airship, which will be discussed later. Perhaps true, perhaps not, it only points to one thing, Nikola Tesla was a man ahead of his time. Many think of him as a legend and to some a failure. Nevertheless, 
This man continued to amaze the world with his brilliant ideas and inventions. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Tesla planned to use a new type of motor that he had developed, powered by alternative currents rather than direct currents. Tesla was involved in several ambitious projects, including developing a supersonic airship. According to Tesla, the airship could be powered by electricity and the Earth's electromagnetic field. He claimed that the airship would be able to travel at speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, and that it would be able to reach altitudes of up to 50 miles. Tesla believed that the airship would revolutionize transportation and communication, making it possible to travel worldwide in a matter of hours. To build the airship, he believed this motor would be much more efficient and powerful than the motors commonly used worldwide. He also intended to use a system of mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the airship, with solar panels providing a nearby, limited energy source. This would later serve as a source of ideas for the creation of solar panels, which harnesses the power of the sun to create energy. Despite Tesla's enthusiasm for the project, the supersonic airship was never built. Many of the ideas and technologies he proposed for his projects were eventually incorporated into other inventions and innovations, such as modern airships, wireless equipment, and solar-powered vehicles. All we can say is that Nikola Tesla was a futurist. He was plagued by bad luck, lack of funding, and propaganda schemes by his rivals to undermine his brilliance. What do you think of the existence of his inventions? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. Share and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thanks for watching till the end.